Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Evolution Show. Today we're going to be talking about peacocks. So our taxidermy peacocks are one, literally one of the most stunning items that we have in our store. They are showstoppers, every single day people boo and ah over them, and so I thought I would show them to you today. I can't believe I haven't done an episode on them because they've actually been a staple here in our store for over 20 years. We have a wonderful peacock taxidermy supplier, and so we're able to get these in regularly. Um, they're each obviously one of a kind, made to order, uh, but it is something that we've been able to carry consistently, consistently over the almost 30 years now that we've been in business. So these are really, really special items um, that I wanted to give you a closer look at today. Um, despite their size, um, they can actually be shipped all over the United States. They cannot be shipped internationally, but they can't be shipped domestically. Um, they don't need to go freight. These are actually really cleverly constructed. They come apart into three different pieces. So the body and the tail are separated. Um, they hook onto each other. Um, it's very cleverly done, very um, you know, ingenious uh, engineering there. And then the stand um, that they are placed on also comes apart. So we can ship, the, ship these in three separate boxes. Uh, we also are offering local delivery um, on, on these. If you're in New York City, we can deliver to you as well. Um, they're very easy to assemble, really doesn't require any tools or any skills. You just kind of screw everything back in and hook on the tail and that's about it. So the first type of peacock I'm going to show you today is our blue peacock. So this is the classic peacock that you think of when you think of peacocks. I just want to show you how absolutely gorgeous he is. And he is a male, right? Males and female peacocks look quite different. Um, the males are the brightly colored ones. The females are more, um, you know, brown and sort of, their, their, their coloration is more for, um, you know, uh, concealing themselves and hiding and stuff like that. But the males, those are the gaudy ones. Those are the ones that want to get the attention. So these are all male peacocks. The scientific name is Pavo Cristatus. Peacocks are originally from India, but they now exist all over the world. Our peacocks actually come mostly from California. Um, a lot of people keep them as pets and then once they realize that peacocks are actually super aggressive and not the best pets, a lot of people release them into the wild and then it becomes a pest control issue. So that is where we get our peacocks. They are the products of the pest control industry, believe it or not. Um, so as I mentioned, the males are the brightly colored ones and uh, they usually fan out their tails to attract a mate right so the larger more beautifully bright you know more beautifully bright and patterned their tails are that's more likely they are to get a mate um, i want to give you a close-up on these beautiful feathers here as you can see there is shades of blue and gold and green it's really iridescent just cascading down here and that's another thing is the positioning of our taxidermy peacocks is pretty unique. Um, a lot of the times people will actually position them with their tails fanned out, which is nice, but takes up a lot of room. And so ours are positioned in this really clever way where you get to see their absolute majesty and beauty, but it takes up a much smaller footprint. So um, definitely, I think, an advantage to having them posed in this position. One last look at this guy. I'll try to get back so you can see him in all his glory. And then we are going to talk about another type of peacock that we have here in the store. So the other type of peacock we have here in the store is a white peacock. Now, a lot of people think that this is an albino peacock, but it is actually not. It is the same species as the blue one to the right here. 
Um, it's also Pavo Cristatus, also from India. It's just a rare breed. So, um, you know, just like dogs or cats might have different, you know, um, patterns and colors, um, you know, the peacocks can as well, right? You'll see chickens, right? You can have lots of different breeds of chickens, lots of different feather patterns and stuff like that, but they're all, you know, scientifically chickens, right? And so it's not really a subspecies. It's not um, an albino. It is a breed of, of peacock. Now that having been said, it is incredibly rare, very unusual to have a white peacock. And in fact, um, you know, traditionally in India, people have believed that catching a glimpse of a white peacock would bring you eternal happiness. So I don't know if it's eternal happiness, but I definitely get a little spark of joy every time I pass by this guy. So they're really beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, you know, you can get both of them obviously, or just one. Sometimes people will also get a pair and mount them side by side, you know, around a fireplace or something like that. These are really amazing gifts. If you're really looking for a showstopper of a gift this holiday season, might I consider, you know, might I suggest you consider one of our peacocks. People have definitely given them as gifts before. We had a couple in here a few months ago um, and uh, the gentleman purchased one of the peacocks for his girlfriend and she was just in tears. She was so moved. So that is really something, something special if you are considering giving a really big, beautiful gift this holiday season. And so as I mentioned, right, we have them mounted, mounted with the tail cascading down. That having been said, if you do want a mount with the tail fanned out, if that is actually better for your space, as these are custom made, made to order, we can request that. So it would take a few months obviously to have done, but if that's something that you would actually prefer, we can make that happen as well. So I wanted to definitely talk about these absolutely stunning peacocks. Like I said, a staple in our store for over 20 years. Now, if buying a full taxidermy peacock is a little out of your price point, I understand. Um, I did also want to highlight a small butterfly that is also very interesting and is called the peacock butterfly. So this is Inicus Io. This is a butterfly that is native to Europe. And you can see, perhaps you can guess, why it is named the peacock butterfly. It has these beautiful spots on its wings and that are reminiscent of peacock tail feathers, right? So that's why these are named that. Um, this butterfly is part of the Nymphalidae family um, and it's part specifically of the tortoise shell group within the Nymphalidae family. Um, as I said, they are found throughout Europe. And so these eye spots on its wings, um, it's hard to see with this camera, but they are black, blue, and yellow. So shades of black, blue, and yellow, very similar to what you have over here. You have yellow, you have black, and you have blue. Um, unlike peacocks, these eye spots are not actually used for mating, right? So peacocks use their beautiful feathers to attract a mate, right? They fan out their tails. The bigger, the more beautiful they are, the more likely they are to catch a female's attention. In butterflies, actually, these are an anti-predator mechanism. So when a predator sees a butterfly with eye spots, they get confused. They think it might be an owl or some other type of small animal, right? They see these eyes and they think, that's not a meal for me. That's something bigger <laughs> that I should actually try and get away from. So that's interesting. So a couple different uses for a very similar pattern in nature, depending on the species that you're talking about.
Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed our video on peacocks and peacock butterflies. Uh, if you are liking these videos, please be sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. You can also follow us on social media. We're at The Evolution Store on Instagram and Facebook. Um, we're also on Twitter at The Evolution NYC. Um, and we're also on TikTok at The Evolution Store. So join us there as well. Thanks so much for watching. So this is the part where I get to read some of your lovely comments that you have left for us. So um, David Riggs left a comment on our YouTube channel on a video that we had made on our killer coffee cups, which are these reusable cork coffee cups that have a skull on them that are pretty cool. And he said, not only are sustainable cups reusable, they also keep your coffee hot for a longer period of time. I totally agree with this. With this cup in particular, it'll stay hot literally all day. Um, they also don't leak unless you forget to screw on the top or leave nasty rings on your furniture. Since most reusable cups are insulated, they can also be used for cold liquids as well. Since they do double duty, that's like getting two cups for the price of one. Thank you, David, for the comment. I couldn't agree more. I think that um, sustainable, you know, reusable cups are definitely the way to go if you can. And if it has a skull on it, all the better. Our next comment today is from Joanna Arts. She commented on a video we had done on spooky skeleton earrings around Halloween. And she says, love these. Honestly, I love the way silver tarnishes though. It's so beautiful. And on these, it will totally match the vibe. I agree, Joanna. I had mentioned that if you wanted to avoid your silver jewelry tarnishing, you should put it on last um, so that you don't get any perfume or lotions or anything on it. Um, but that having been said, I think it is really nice when old silver jewelry has a certain patina to it. So, um, you know, you really can't go wrong. And our last comment today is from Crystal, and she wrote on a video that we had posted on YouTube of a beautiful new quartz, uh, rose quartz point that we have just acquired. And she said, my name is Crystal, and I've recently become drawn to crystals, and that one is gorgeous. Well, welcome, Crystal. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Welcome to um, the Evolution Store family. We are happy to have you, and you are in very good company. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.